What's up guys, Epox here, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to install 4GB Fallout New Vegas. So this is by Monochrome Wench, Hendrix266, and Roy Batty. So this is really, really simple, it's much easier than some of you may think, and it, it's really confusing with all this text here, it's just long and unneeded, to be honest. It just goes on and on, he should have just made a text folder for the update history or something like that, because this takes up a lot of space. And it also has all the Skyrim 4 gigabyte stuff, so it's just kind of, it kind of confuses some people. So, anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this right now. So you want to go to the files section, and this is going to be linked down in the description below. And you want to click download manually, and it'll bring you up here. It might tell you to what choose what server you want, and you just want to go ahead and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to. And once you have it saved, you want to go ahead and go to your location that you saved it at and it's going to pop up as a RAR file. So you're going to need WinRAR obviously and you're going to have to extract it. So before I go any further I want to let you know this is only going to work with the Steam version and no other version. It's not going to work with the cracked version. It's not going to work with the CD version. It's only going to work with the Steam version. So don't even bother if you have a cracked game. This is not going to work and you're just wasting your time. So once you have this extracted with WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you have you want to go ahead and open up the folder and it's going to give you these five different files. And you want to go ahead and just click follow new vegas 4 gigabyte underscore helper dot dll and the follow new vegas 4 gigabyte dot exe those are the only two files that you need in this folder so you also want to open up your um, follow new vegas directory and that can be located in computer local disk program files 86 steam steam apps common and follow new vegas unless you have unless you have your follow new vegas placed in a different directory for some reason in case you installed it somewhere else so, what you're going to need to do now is just drag follow new vegas 4 gigabyteexe and follow new vegas 4 gigabyte underscore helper dll and drag these into here. So I've already done that so I can go ahead and click cancel. And this will work with ENBs and the X360 CE or whatever. And it will also work with the stutter remover. So to get it to work with the stutter remover you're just going to have to do a quick fix. And you can do that by simply going into your data folder and going into your NVSE folder and like like I said I believe I said you do need NVSE it's kind of it's obvious kind of and you want to go into plugins and you want to go ahead and open up SR underscore new Vegas stutter remover dot any and you want to open that up and see right here B fast exit equals one you want to keep that at one if it's set to zero or something else you want to set it to one so I can go ahead and close that and I can go back to my Follow New Vegas uh, folder. So, now I need to point out a few things. Now there are a few fixes that you ha you may have to do. It depends on your Steam game version. So if you're Polish or you're from Czech um, Republic or you're Russian, you're gonna have to follow this right here at the very bottom of this page. And also there's a few other things that you're gonna have to follow uh, that uh, may, may fix some of the issues that you may be having. But personally, mine works perfectly fine when I simply do those simple steps that I just showed you guys how to do. If you guys are having any issues and you do have the Steam version of the game and you do have NVSE installed, then let me know down in the comments or description or comment section. I don't know why I just changed back to description. But um, let me know down in the comment section below if you're having any issues. I will show you guys that it's running. It'll actually black screen. Actually, I'm not even going to bother showing you guys that it's working because it's just honestly going to black screen. Um, because I have it set to a windowed recording when I have to set it to uh, the game recording. Um, so, anyways, that's how you get that working. If you want to know how to run it, it's just really simple. To run it through the 4GB, uh, uh, all you have to do is go to your thing here and double click this. You can also create a shortcut for your desktop. So you don't even need it in the folder to be honest, but I suggest keeping it in there because some people have issues when they don't have it in there. Like for an, for example, I suggest just keeping this in here in the DLL. You have to have the DLL and the D .exe together or else it's not going to work. And you want to go ahead, if you want to have your shortcut on your desktop, you can go ahead and go, uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, create shortcut, sorry. All right, so you can do that and then you just drag this onto your desktop wherever you want to. I'll just drag it there for now. I'll drag it over to my games. So I can go ahead and rename that. Let's rename it to 
follow it, New Vegas for gigabyte and hit enter and we can right click make sure that it's all working right click go to properties and we can see that it is loading the right target so that is how you install Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte or 4 gigabyte Fallout New Vegas whatever you want to call it and if you guys are having any any issues like I said let me know down in the comment section below and I can definitely help you guys out but anyways guys this has been Epoxy if you guys did enjoy this video or if it did help you out please smack the like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight I do a bunch of mod reviews and so on for Fallout New Vegas and many other games and I also do a lot more so anyways guys this has been Epoxy like I said don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.